So, you know, you will see me working as an agent still, but I can only make so much content on that. So you'll see me, you know, buying, buying properties, renovating them, and you can come along with me for my whole uh, real estate journey, whether that's being a real estate agent or a real estate investor. What's up, everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I wanted to introduce you to an up and coming real estate YouTuber. Okay, this guy has only been in the business under a year. He's made some videos about, uh, you know, day in the life of a real estate agent. He's only 19 years old and he's already hit over 12,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm going to link all the stuff below so you guys can go check him out. But I want to welcome Joshua Irabu to the channel. What's up, buddy? Not much, man. Thanks so much for having me on. I've been watching your content for a long time. This is like a dream come true. Yeah, man. Absolutely, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm really inspired by everything that you have accomplished here uh, on YouTube and everything that you're doing, man. Um, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, where you're at and how long you've been selling and how this kind of came to be. Yeah, so I've been licensed since November of last year. Uh, main market I work in here is Lincoln, Nebraska. I'll do some work up in Omaha, but it's you know just mostly here in Lincoln. And you know I, I got out of high school and I wanted to start a business. Real estate just seemed like the perfect opportunity. So, so far it's been awesome. No, that's incredible, man. So, okay, so you got in real estate under a year ago, eight or nine months, 10 months ago, something like that. And you started putting out content on YouTube. Okay. And we were talking before and I was asking you about how this whole thing works and, and, and what's going on behind the scenes with this. And what you're telling me is, and this is interesting for people who, uh, who are getting into the business, you've actually leveraged YouTube um, and the ad revenue that comes from YouTube as a way to supplement yourself getting into real estate, not having to work a part-time job. You're using YouTube kind of as your part-time job to build, you know, uh, a little bit of revenue to help you through the beginning stages of being a real estate agent. Uh, I never really thought about that. <laughs> I never really thought about that as being an option for people. So it's incredible for me to see that. What made you come up with this? Well, actually, at first I wanted to start the YouTube channel as a way to keep myself accountable. I know personally myself, when I start a project, I'm so excited. And then a couple months goes by and I can, some of that excitement might kind of, you know, wane away. So I'm like, let me start a YouTube channel to document exactly what I'm doing. And then that way, once I build up an audience, they'll keep me accountable. Like, Josh, why aren't you posting? You know, we want to see what's going on with your business. Um, so that was the first reason that I started it. But then, you know, I also knew that I wanted YouTube to be a bigger part of my life and bring in some revenue. Uh, so starting the YouTube channel has given me the opportunity to uh, have a form of, of income that I don't have to really worry about. It's it's kind of an, an automation and I can focus more of, my, more of my time into my real estate business, if that makes sense. No, man. I, I'm, like I say, man, it's incredible. And I think it should be inspiring for anybody watching this that, um, you know, that you can actually utilize this. I mean, I would say that most of your content is focused around like a day in the life of a brand new real estate agent, right? Yeah, uh, you know, I make some day in the lives. I talk about some things that I've learned along the way. And then, you know, just videos that I wish I would have seen before I got licensed. That's that's mostly it. Did you do did you do some calls on a video? Did I yeah. Say yeah, I've got I've got two videos out where I was making some live Fizbo calls and those ones are actually pretty good. Uh, so I set a couple listing appointments there. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to link those below. I'm going to link your channel below so people can go check out because I know a lot of people that watch my content are going to be super interested in your content with everything that you've done up to this point and also moving forward. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what what's the what's the vision moving forward for, you know, as far as your YouTube channel, your real estate career, and um, how you're gonna, you know, kind of balance the two and intertwine the two? That's a good question. So in the future, I'm gonna have some more real estate investing content on the channel. Uh, so, you know, you will see me working as an agent still, but I can only make so much content on that. Uh, so you'll see me, you know, buying, buying properties, renovating them, and you can come along with me for my whole uh, real estate journey, whether that's being a real estate agent or a real estate investor. Nice, man, nice, man. Well. Uh... No, it's like I say, I just wanted to introduce you to my audience because I know that they're going to get a lot of value out of your content. It gives people a different angle and somebody who's out there with really kind of the same purpose as I have just to really serve the community and uh, and to create content that's really going to help other people. So I'm really interested to see where it goes from here, man, to be honest with you. 
you know, I'm wishing you all the luck in the world. How can people get a hold of you? Instagram is probably the best way. So that's just my first name, last name. Uh, you know, you can always comment on a YouTube video. Uh, but yeah, Instagram, Instagram is going to be the best. So, you know, obviously I'm, I'm very excited, you know, to partner with you here at EXP. And I just want to know how you manage your time, you know, with obviously selling 100 homes a year, you've got, you know, all this other stuff that you're doing on the side. How are you able to make time for everything? Well, like, you know, I did it completely different than you, you know, like I totally focus on real estate sales before trying to do YouTube and stuff. So I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to try to do it all at once because you've obviously are handling it. I think the biggest thing is, is a lot of people do ask that question and they're like, how do you get all this stuff done? And man, the really, it's just a really basic answer. It's just like by doing it. And at the end of the day, all you can do is all you can do. And so do I get everything done by the end of the day that I would love to get done? No. Right. But what I do is as much as I can, and I'm just happy with what I do get done, you know, and I know I'm moving the needle just a little bit every single day. And so like you move the needle little by little by little every day. And over the course of a couple of years and a couple of, you know, decades, you know, you, you can really get to some really incredible places. And it's not by like, like people think, how do you get it all done? You know what the real answer is? Like, I never do get anything done. Like every single thing is always a work in progress that still needs more work to be done the next day and the next day and the next day. And so it's kind of ironic. Like, how do you get all this stuff done? When really, I'm not really getting anything done. I'm like always in the middle of getting stuff done that never gets done, if that makes any sense, you know? So as chaotic as it can seem, as chaotic as it is and the reality of it, um, you just have to kind of be like, calm in the storm kind of deal like there's all this crazy stuff going around you just got to kind of maintain your your sanity right and so like that's yeah. where i have some serious dna right that's where i have some i feel like i have just an ability like a gift to just kind of stay calm and just kind of focus on one thing at a time let's get this done now let's get this done and just back to back to back things done um and i i tell you what the biggest keys for me is is in the morning sitting down and literally mapping out my entire day and then thinking about the little projects i'm doing the deals i'm negotiating my schedule for the day all the places i want to post on social um, and also kind of looking at and visualizing how these daily activities are going to get me where i want to be over the next two years five years ten years right and just kind of thinking about that every morning right and then everything's on this piece of paper and i could just execute right so i don't know man it, it is a tough balance and uh, like after you after you've done what I've done for the past 20 years and I have a great assistant that handles most everything on the real estate sales side, you know, that really opens up a lot of doors time wise. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so as a new agent, when you're when you're doing all the admin work and you're doing all the administrative stuff and you're doing all the setting up the showings and putting stuff in MLS and uploading documents and you're doing all that stuff, it can seem like you can you could drown really quickly. But you don't realize that at some point you're going to get to that place where somebody else is going to be handling every single bit of that for you, you know, and then what are you going to do? <laughs> you're going to have all this time on your hands. You know, you're going to be closing all these deals and people are going to be asking you how you did it. And really the secret is a really great assistant, right? Okay. Huh. So yeah, man, be careful asking questions, dude, because I'll just, I'll go on a rant. I mean, I like it, you know, uh, <laughs> at least you're able to give you know, like a straight up answer. You know, yeah. and, uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, man. Well, again, thanks for coming on guys. Go follow Joshua on Instagram and YouTube. And, uh, I hope you guys get a lot of value at his content the way that I have. Uh, I'm going to go watch a couple videos right now. So, um, we'll talk to you soon, bro. Yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Later, man.